An important warning today for parents of student athletes. A report released today says football and potentially other contact sports can cause gradual brain damage. Local 12's Liz Bonus has more in today's Medical Edge. A serious concussion or blow to the head during any sport can cause long-term damage to the brain. But this new study in the online journal PLOS1 found so can little hits along the way. The fact of the matter is each time you have an impact activity to your head, it is a small, what we call traumatic brain injury. It is damage to the brain. Dr. Emily Dixon is a sports medicine specialist with TriHealth. We asked her to explain this cumulative impact, so to speak, which she says can happen from nearly any contact sport, not just football, which is what Cleveland Clinic and University of Rochester neurologists looked at in this study. So you don't have to be knocked unconscious. You don't have to actually hit your head on the ground or anything, or be hit directly in the head. Just the repetitive force of the brain kind of going back and forth in your skull can cause minor damage. To find this out, researchers actually took blood samples of college athletes after a game. They found in a small percentage of those, there was a higher response, what they called an autoimmune response. And what this means is that there is a protein in the blood at higher levels, which is generally only present in those with epilepsy or dementia, of course, serious brain problems. Generally, this protein does not get into the bloodstream. So, Dr. Dixon says if you're worried about a child's mounting head hits, talk to your own health care provider. Since there's always a long list of benefits to sports, decreased risk of obesity, um, they've shown that these kids do better in school. They tend to have less drug abuse, less um, you know, sexual activity at a young age. Um, overall, they're healthier. It, it teaches leadership, it teaches teamwork skills. So, I think you just have to balance that. In other words, she does not think this gradual brain damage risk should keep kids from playing sports altogether. In Kenwood, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. A new study.